Welcome guys, so today we explore the topic of skin tone and complexion and attractiveness. And this is probably one of the questions where opinions diverge most and are subject to individual taste. But as per the usual, we look at studies and surveys to get some clarity on this topic. This is also very much a cultural question. Social cultural elements play a huge role in perception of attractiveness, of skin lightness and darkness. Perception of skin attractiveness is also subject to beauty ideals of the respective era and media representation. So there seems to be a large social cultural element involved beyond biological attractiveness. The first study from 2016 explored dimorphic skin color and attractiveness in male faces. The researchers allowed female participants to manipulate male and female face images along axes of sexual dimorphism in skin color. Participants were presented with faces and were asked to increase or decrease face coloration to match their perception of attractiveness. A significant preference for masculinity was found in the manipulation of male faces which were manipulated to 80%, the range being minus 200% to plus 200%. Were given an even broader color range in experiment 2, participants manipulate faces to 120% masculinization. Masculinization represents here a slightly darker and redder skin. Further studies have indicated that yellower and redder skin is also more attractive in male faces. Skin yellowness and redness are probably linked to health and attractiveness because these color properties vary with current health. Skin yellowness and darkness are driven by melanin and carotenoid pigments. These pigments are related to health. Among other benefits, carotenoid supplements increase T-lymphocyte numbers. And melanin protects against ultraviolet radiation damage to DNA. Now on the more practical side, carotenoids are contained in various vegetables, so don't forget to eat your carrots and veggies. And melanin is produced by the skin in reaction to sunlight, and you get what we call a tan. Next we look at a somewhat inconclusive study by Stefanova and Stroop from 2017. They analyzed the attractiveness of faces with regards to skin color and attractiveness. Although they could not finally conclude which face shape was more attractive, they found interesting effects for skin color. Eurocentric faces here, represented roughly by faces 8 to 10, were found most attractive when they had a skin color of 7 to 8 on a scale of 1. The darkest to 10 the lightest. Here you can see an example. On the other hand, Afrocentric faces were preferred when they had a dark skin tone. Mixed Afrocentric and Eurocentric faces were found most attractive with a medium skin tone. Don't attribute too much value to the height of the lines. The face shape choices between the experiments seem uneven, and the results of attractiveness regarding Afro and Eurocentric faces were contradictory. We can conclude that for typical Afrocentric faces, a matching dark skin color is most attractive, while for mixed faces, a medium skin tone is most attractive. For Eurocentric faces, a lighter medium skin tone is most attractive. So for a typical European face a good tan, I would say. Next we have a poll from Boston Magazine in which over 1000 participants were asked. The women asked in the poll found pale to be attractive by around 12% and dark by around 4%. A medium or olive skin tone was preferred by an overwhelming 60% of participants. So again we have points for the tan. 25% indicated that it did not matter to them at all. That skin tone does indeed have an interesting effect is also indicated by the following study conducted in the US 2015. Participants had to rate photos of a proposed job applicant. One version was original and one version was a digital manipulation to look tanned. Participants rated the tanned version more favorably. In a second experiment, the researchers found that this was due to the applicant being seen as more attractive with the tanned look. So to conclude, although skin tone taste does diverge extremely by individual, we can see that on average, a somewhat more vivid and redder face is considered more attractive. There seems to be an increased interest in yellowness and redness for male faces by women. Colors that indicate health and attractiveness. Skin yellowness and redness are driven by melanin and carotid pigments, which can be influenced by sun exposure and carotenoid-rich vegetable consumption. A study on skin tone and attractiveness found that people from a Eurocentric background profit from a good tan, while Afrocentric people are considered more attractive with dark skin. Mixed people are considered most attractive with a medium tan. In surveys, medium and olive skin tones were strongly preferred, so tanned or medium brown skin tone. However, there was also a considerable number that did not attribute particular importance to skin tone. So throughout the studies and surveys we could see that a medium skin tone was preferred over very dark skin and very light skin. Skin tone can have practical impact as it impacts attractiveness and more attractive people are judged to be, for example, better applicants. So overall we can see that a nice tan and a medium skin color with redder, browner and yellower elements seems to be preferred. This indicates health and attractiveness and is related to sunlight exposure and vegetable consumption. Thanks for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe and as always, stay awesome.